Uh, I'm Brad Ruckus. I'm the CEO and founder of BoxLock, the supply chain access control platform. Uh, I'm joined today by my CCO, uh, Andrew Kelly. Uh, and if you go to the next slide, we're here uh, representing uh, an incredible team of uh, technologists and supply chain uh, leaders and, and, and experts. I'm a big believer in, in surround yourselves with people who have forgotten more than you'll ever have the opportunity uh, to, to, to learn. And so we're very fortunate. If you go to the next slide, um, as everybody knows, right, supply chain, logistics, freight, transportation. It's this game of, uh, you know, this need for, for constant uh, iterative in improvement. Uh, and one of those improvements that's made a very big difference on the next slide is uh, the introduction of the, the barcode uh, in 1974. It's really the, the piece that ties together in the data transfer uh, across supply chains. Next, uh, increasingly, right, supply chains are focusing on these long horizon innovations like we're talking about today, while at the same time needing to realize these immediate productivity gains. Uh, and so in talking with our customers uh, and our clients and our advisors and our, our, uh, our partners on the next slide, accessing a, a company's supply chain can be their biggest weakness, right? Whether that's missed deliveries, whether that's unproductive stops, whether that's downtime because you're waiting on parts, uh, waiting on someone to go grab a set of keys or going to grab a set of keys, lack of visibility, uh, they all just add up to added labor costs. Uh, in the next slide, what we believe is that controlling access to a company's supply chain uh, can be their most powerful ally, right? It can open up things to 24-7, 365, get on-demand pickup, have parts closer to the point of use, give visibility and full chain of custody, and be able to do that 24-7, 365 uh, anywhere. And so on the next slide, our technology... Uh, yeah, uh, next slide, I think this is a dated deck, but that's fine. Uh, next slide, our, our technology, every barcode is able to be a key, right? And so our devices uh, have a barcode scanner in them uh, and are connected. And so if you go to the next slide, the what we do is inventory access and security solutions, but we're helping leading healthcare operations and logistics companies realize that tomorrow's savings today by making their supply chains more efficient, more accountable, and more reliable wherever assets are stored and transferred. And so uh, we make hardware devices that are uh, ruggedized smart locks that have integrated barcode scanners in them, real-time connectivity uh, with the ability to, to protect and track critical assets. Uh, we've got a robust backend platform uh, that allows you to manage a fleet of devices, uh, control audit logs and inventory management, uh, and then our platform was built from the ground up on top of uh, uh, APIs and SDKs that integrate into other administrative materials management, HR, HR systems, HR, uh, ERP systems, route management systems, uh, et cetera. So if you go to the next slide, uh, our devices come in multiple form factors. We've got a uh, 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 you know, highly ruggedized, uh, highly secure safe lock uh, format. We've got padlock formats for portable security uh, in them. If you go to the next slide. And so we're able to tie all of this together uh, with uh, an advanced, you know, we got the data coming in from our, our devices. We're able to tie this in to an advanced uh, data stream and event processing system uh, that allows us to do advanced notifications, workflows, inventory processes, and automation. Uh, our devices have in real-time in, uh, intrusion detections and intrusion alerts. So they can tell you if someone's tampering with them. Uh, we're doing work in the aviation space where we're actually flagging parts uh, when, when parts are scanned as whether or not they are uh, certified and the full chain of custody has been maintained on them. If you go to the next slide. What this allows us to do is really these advanced access control capabilities. And so we've got a suite of, of uh, web-based tools that allow you to do everything from inventory management to signature release. Uh, we're working with Zebra on their handheld device, and they've created an application on top of their devices uh, that allows you to open and manage locks uh, from the, within that. Because our devices are connected, they're able to play a backhaul to sensors. And so we work with environmental sensor companies where we're able to get temperature, uh, humidity levels. Uh, we also work with tool companies so we can help them uh, help their customers track tools, uh, not only access tools, checkout tools, but then be able to, to read the sensors of whether or not they're nearby. 
Uh, our devices have uh, GPS sensors in them, so you can get full track and trace and geolocation capabilities. Next slide. Hey, Brad, 30 second warning. Okay, so specimen logistics, we, we do work in healthcare, specimen logistics, next slide, aviation, uh, MRO, we're able to scale, scan parts from who took it to the tail number. Uh, next slide to, to uh, with a serial number and whether or not it was certified. If you just keep running through these, we're able to do inventory management. We're able to do access control and automate audit logging. Uh, next slide. We're doing this uh, unattended delivery. Keep going. Uh, across a broad range of applications, it's a, a, this slide's actually out of date. It's a $41 billion market, uh, serviceable, addressable market in the supply chain access control industry. Uh, happy to make that information available. Uh, go to the next slide, please. Uh, customer partners and benefits, I, you know, I mentioned a lot of this. This is some of the companies that we're working with uh, and the value and the benefits that we provide to them. Next slide, please. Uh, momentum, we pivoted last year from primarily residential applications to B2P enterprise applications. Uh, it's a very SaaS healthy revenue uh, mix. We're getting over 60% SaaS revenue from 100% uh, hardware revenue in 2020. Uh, and it's coming across operations, logistics, and, and healthcare. Uh, next slide. Uh, we'd love to, to partner uh, with those who have the need where we can help unlock savings today with supply chain access control solutions. Uh, and we're planning to be in market for a series A and Q4. Uh, thank you and appreciate the time. Thank you, Brad. Opening it up to questions. I have one quick question here, if I don't, uh, if you don't mind. Um, how does your product uh, works with the existing product, other uh, supply chain management uh, products, in case? Uh, I'm sorry, repeat the question. I missed the first part. Sure. So um, the customers who already have uh, uh, other supply chain management system, how does your product can be integrated or interfaced with it? Oh, yeah, we, we, we interface. It's entirely API-based. Right. So, for instance, we can ingest from HR systems, employee IDs and the barcodes that are on employee IDs. And then we can interface back into their ERP systems to understand their SKUs, be able to to move inventory in and out. And if they're serialized, we can we you know, we're able to check and then make API calls to determine, OK, is that is that part certified? Yeah, yeah. Has it been okay. maintained? Gotcha. Use? gotcha. Right. Thank you. We're working with a couple of customers in that industry and they might need your product. That's why I asked. Thank you. That we'd love to help. Well, thank you, That's Brad. Great, great to see you. It's been a long time. Yeah, same, Bob. I, uh, yeah. I, uh, we met when you first started this idea. It was actually on a piece of paper, I think it was. Um, so really <laughs> great to see this advancement. Um, you know, I obviously I followed this this quite a bit when I was at Panasonic, and we talked about that. Um, I'm curious to know what the roadmap looks like on a physical le level. So there's a you know, the lock itself, but where do you go from there? And specifically around commercial, um, you know, business to business customers, are you looking to develop sensors that go beyond the lock itself? I'm just kind of curious to hear what that, what that looks like. Yeah, from, from a hardware perspective, you know, we're, we're really, you know, as I mentioned through the devices, so we're diversifying the types of devices uh, moving to, you know, a little bit less on the portable side right through a cam lock in a, in a more T slot format. We're doing a lot partnering with sensor companies that integrate sensors, uh, you know, as I'd mentioned. And then the other piece we are working on a solution uh, where we've got a customer that we're doing an integrated medical cabinet that has RFID solutions, RFID in it. And so we're doing the access control, you know, who's accessed the container, and then everything that's being taken in and out of it, we're able to count the inventory that's being removed. And so we're able to do forward inventory that's consigned, right? You're, uh, you know, the, the, be able to basically bill for it at the time of use uh, and keep it securely on site. And so those are the types of things we're looking at. We are, we're doing some work through uh, our AFWorks uh, grant where we're uh, looking at applying uh, our componentry into other access control solutions that they already have in, on base. Awesome. You know, you want to ask the last question? Yeah, I thought it looks very uh, impressive and sort of the uh, integrated platform. Um, but where are you uh, in terms of the commercial scale right now? Um, are you um, handling the solution, both the 
hardware, software management to the customer, or are you still actually managing all those logistics, uh, setting up barcodes and access for the customer? Is it really easy to use so that you know you can you know get the customer to actually manage their whole supply chain and process, or is it still something that you know you really need to be hands on and be the third party to manage their the customer's inventory? We, I mean, we, have a, we have a range of customers, right? We have customers that can self-service onboard and we've got great onboarding tools. All the API documentation is available at doc.getboxlock.com, doc.bxlck.com. I'll, I'll share it in the link. Um, and so we've got a mix, right? We also, in the verticals that we work in, we have a very standardized onboarding process where we start with templates around like lab logistics, for instance. And we're able to, to work with them to, to define some of the key business requirements very quickly and then and then deploy those and integrate them. And so it ranges from self-service to, uh, you know, we're, we're really working them with them in the implementation and integration process. Uh, but it all, you know, once, once it's up and running, it's, it should be, uh, you know, they can self-manage and that's the way our contracts and agreements are structured.